All right, thank you, Alex. Political shockwaves continue ringing through the nation's capital today as President Joe Biden now endorses his vice president, Kamala Harris, to become the Democratic Party nominee. Biden, still recovering from COVID, announced yesterday afternoon he is ending his reelection bid. Skylar Henry reports from Washington with reactions and what's next. This morning, Vice President Kamala Harris is picking up support. Just hours after President Biden announced he will no longer seek re-election, the president tweeted, It is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term, adding his endorsement of Harris and urging the party to come together to beat former President Donald Trump. With Joe Biden as the heart and soul of our party and Kamala Harris coming out swinging, against this ticket, uh, we've got the recipe for victory. Harris says it is her intention to earn and win the nomination. Are you ready to make your voices heard? She's picked up endorsements from multiple labor organizations and party heavyweights like the Clintons. Vice President Harris is piling up support from members of Congress. The DNC says it will soon implement a framework to select a nominee. And the process needs to be open to anyone else who thinks they can make a strong case that they can prevail in the battleground states, uh, and she'll be the stronger for the contest. Last night, Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson called on Biden to resign the presidency after bashing plans to replace him. It would be wrong, and I think unlawful, in, in accordance to some of these states' rules, for a handful of people to go in a back room and switch it out because they're, they don't like the candidate any longer. President Biden has been isolating at his Delaware home after testing positive for COVID-19. He'll adjust the nation later this week. Well, former President Donald Trump tells CBS News the, announcement, the announcements of Biden's withdrawal came as a shock. And he and his campaign have already begun attacks against Harris, tying her to the president's record. Uh, meanwhile, there are several top Democrats who have not yet endorsed Harris, including former President Barack Obama. A person familiar with the matter tells CBS News he plans to wait until the nominee is official, as he did in 2020.